Stellar sunflowers. Um, these flowers are embedded with solar cells in all of the petals and they're able to track the sun throughout the sky and collect solar energy which is stored in battery arrays and used for a variety of cool stuff. Yeah, so they, they are robotically driven and, and uh, able to move and interact with the, with the, the sun and also move and interact when, when people sit at the benches below. The solar cells uh, drive some uh, lighting illumination and there's also one, uh, 110 outlets throughout the benches. Um, so that people can plug in their laptops yeah, or phones laptops, or phones, phones, whatever charging. for charging. It's about security, it's about jobs, uh, it's about health. What we do is we create hydro aquaponics systems and that means we combine aquaculture and hydroponics and basically use fish, live fish, to grow plants in a water recycling system. We use bacteria to break down the waste. So we're not tied to soil, and because we recycle water, we have freedom to actually create gardens in places where we can't. And this is a good example. Inside a museum, I can come in and within an hour get like a really productive garden going. Okay. A lot of so this is really just a composting system, just like you compost chicken poo or, 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 or cow poo or anything. Yeah. So I'm composting fish poo, and my composting process is happening in bacteria that I culture here. So it breaks down all the uh, ammonish, ammonish um, waste from the fish, which would normally be toxic to the fish, and they break it down using uh, bacteria through nitrification process, and that turns it into nitrates that are really in you know, the form of uh, fertilizer. And then the plants suck it up, and then the water goes back to the fish when it's clean. In this case, I'm using goldies because it's a small display for like kids. But imagine doing tilapia, imagine doing catfish, imagine being able to get uh, protein and vegetables out of places where there are no rivers. Because I'm farming, I'm, I'm able to produce food, and I'm able to produce food that's very connected to the water so that the, the, uh, the experience that you have when you're eating this food is a direct connection to a body of water. And that is, as far as the sensory for food connection, uh, it's an incredible direct connection to the, the, that body of water, so enjoy.